Felipe. I'm Lillian. And this is The Postmodern Family. Thanks so much for watching our videos. If you haven't seen our channel before, we make videos about Americans living in the UK, our pregnancy with a second baby, and traditional family life. Mm. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like it, sign up to be a patron at our Patreon site. That's patreon.com slash the postmodern family. One of our more popular videos uh, was the video we put out about Jeremy Corbyn and the general election that seemed to get a lot of attention <laughs> and a lot of comments. For we decided our... to be controversial again. Again, <laughs> to dive into UK politics from an American perspective, yes. of course. So, Though this time we're not going to remain so neutral. No, we're going to come right out and in honor of <laughs> the great MP, Jacob Reese mogg baby. Yes. So he's been in the news lately because he's Why has been, he been in the news? He's been speaking his mind. The rumors have been swirling more and more that he is a potential, he has a potential future as prime minister of the country. But this week it's been suggested that there's a new unlikely political star of social media. Here's Ellie Price. My right honourable friend, the member for Buckingham, as he now is, uh, has a reputation for being a moderniser. This is a word I use with some caution. <laughs> and so he's doing the rounds of interviews at the different, uh, mm. different news agencies. So, of course, when you do these interviews, they try to corner you and beat you down and get, get, catch you off foot. And this is what they did to the leader of the Lib Dems, who had previously come out expressing certain Christian views on, like, for example, traditional marriage. Mm. So likewise, whenever a politician with traditionalist views makes the rounds of interviews, especially in the UK, man, they just, they want, the left just want to catch you out mm -hmm. and make you ashamed of your views. Mm -hmm. Pierce Morgan and another, and another lady decided to ask him about... Abortion? And... Traditional marriage? Yeah, same-sex marriage. Um, what are your views on same-sex marriage? Is well, that something you support? I'm a Catholic and I take the teaching of the Catholic Church seriously. Well, there's plenty of Catholics and, who support same-sex marriage. Um, but marriage is a sacrament. Mm. And the decision of what is a sacrament lies with the Church, not with Parliament. Else. Are you completely opposed different. to abortion in all circumstances? Um, yes, I am. Rape and incest? Sexual violence? I'm afraid so. Really? Life, life is sacrosanct and begins at the point of conception. Seems like the uh, the press and social media, everyone is going crazy over his response. Over his responses to these questions, they're all taking turns bashing him and saying, "What a Neanderthal! What a bigot!" What, yeah, you know? and the and the Times had a cartoon mm. pu published showing yeah. him uh, as, a as a fetus in the womb. And it said, um, what? I leadership guess it's the termination plan of my termination of my leadership future or something. Yeah. Before this happened this week, we had been fans of him. Yeah, I Felipe found out about him. him. How did you find out about him? Well, I subscribe to a number of different um, let's conservative, conservative yeah. British sites and Facebook feeds just to uh, just to feel like there are other people who think like me in the UK because uh, I don't know any person, well, I don't know very many personally. So they started posting about him and the, the, big, the big thing is that like Trump, um, they're gonna meme him into the into 10 Downing Street. They started generating this buzz. Social media content. Yeah, this buzz about Jacob Rees-Mogg and the way they were gonna do it was by, you know, shooting out mean constant memes, and they were Not quoting just him. Memes. I don't see all the memes that you're talking about. I do, but, but there are a lot of YouTube videos out there now <clears throat> featuring Jacob Rees-Mogg in like mm. the greatest hits, you know, the greatest yeah. things he's said, and then yeah. interviews about him that are really quite funny, and then interviews yeah. about him where he's hard hitting yeah. and people yeah. are backing him and applauding him. So let's talk about what is the, the, the dynamic that he brings mm. to the table. And the fascinating thing for me is that 
he is like the poshest of the posh. <laughs> right? He has the highest accent I've ever heard. Yeah, he he's gone to, he's gone to eat eat in school um, that that uh, boarding school that they uh-huh. all go to. He's gone to Oxbridge. Oxbridge. Um, and he's his wife is descendancy from uh, some nobility, Lord. and I think his father's a lord yes, as well. Yes, yes. A lot of people would think makes him really un um, approachable. accessible, unapproachable, mm-hmm. and uh, off-putting. But yeah. he has the opposite effect, it seems. He has a touch with the common people like us. <laughs> he, he, There's an interview there. that I watched um, uh-huh. where they were quizzing him on the prices of everyday <laughs> foods. Like how much is a, milk or a bread, milk, bread, uh-huh. cheese, all this. And he was like spot on. How much is a pint of milk? A pint of milk is about 45p. I've got written 45p. Outstanding. Loaf of bread? Well, you can buy an ordinary loaf of bread and you'll probably get one for 75p. Okay, I've got just over a pound, but that's, you know, that's near enough. And first class stamp? I think it's about 60p. 62 pence. My goodness me. <laughs> um, so he's in touch. He's in touch with the commoner, I think. Yeah, yeah. He has that ability to swim in both groups, to be of the, no- of the nobility but comfortable in his own skin and able to relate with common people. Mm-hmm. There's a guy who interviewed him and showed him the memes that are circulating about oh, yeah? him and he's giving his like impression of uh-huh. the meme. <laughs> I need to watch that. It's great, it's fantastic. And then, who's that Borat guy? <laughs> Sasha Cohen did an Ali G interview of him. Lord Mog is gonna tell us how we all can be upper class, can't we? It was very kind of you to promote me to the uh, nobility, but of course I'm, I'm not. My, my father is, is Lord rees and I'm just a commoner like everybody else. So he has that ability, which is very rare, of being of a really high class, and, mm-hmm. and then, but, but, the, but the other class is, you know. Yeah, so I think, if, for example, I could never imagine Theresa May being interviewed by Ali G or like all yeah. these... Things when that... you think of Teresa, she is of the upper class, I think. Yeah, she and, seems. And then, uh, but those pictures that came out during the general election where she was eating um, chips, <laughs> and she's holding it, and it looks like she's never held a chip in her <laughs> hand her whole life. And then when she eats it, like the way her lips go over the chip, oh. it's like they she's never eaten a chip in her Aww. life. So that's too bad. I'm sure that's not the case, but it's just the impression that she gives yeah. off. Yeah. What makes you love? Jacob Rees-Mogg. <clears throat> that he would classify himself as a loyal son of the Catholic Church and a loyal servant to the Queen. I'm very happy to be challenged on my views and to be a loyal son of the Catholic Church, a loyal conservative and a loyal subject to Her Majesty. I think one of the F- Felipe's favorite titles of an article was the quote that he said, I am not a modern man. <laughs> yes. And he was oh, talking yes. about not changing his... Any nappies. Any nappies. That he's never changed a nappy in his life. <laughs> and he said, why would I do it if the nanny and my wife are way better at it than I am? And that just seemed to make sense. He didn't say, I'm above it. He didn't say, oh, I'm too good for it. He just said, practically, like, I'm not good at it. I started to really get into him when... My first introduction was when he had his sixth kid. Oh, yeah. And the name he gave the kid. Yes. Was, was it, it Sextus? Sextus? Sextus, I think. Which is Latin for six. And I just, my heart sang out <laughs> when I heard that. He's growing his family as large as he can. He names his kid after using Latin names. Mm-hmm. And then I got into his views that he's a free market um, capitalist. So he was for he is for Brexit, yeah. and believes that there is no such thing as a soft Brexit. You are either in the European Union or you leave it, and this is <laughs> and this is this is not only my view. This is the view of Donald Tusk, one of the presidents of the European Union, who said there is no such thing as hard and soft Brexit. There is being in the European Union or out. It's yeah. a little way of trying to mind lull people into thinking. That yeah. it's going, that it's anything other than just cutting off from the European Union. Also, his religious convictions mm. about abortion and same-sex marriage are really impressive. That he can mm. so confidently 
yeah. state these, knowing that there are many, many people out there who will hate him for yeah, it. Not just hate and, him, but try to destroy him because yes. of it. Because those views are so unacceptable today that mm -hmm. people will do anything to silence you. Mm -hmm. They will try to shut your speech down mm -hmm. um, by violence. Like if you show up at some speaking location, they will create violent situations so you don't speak. And in the worst case, even the UK police will investigate you for hate speech. Mm -hmm. If you espouse conservative views. Mm -hmm. If you just speak verses from the Bible, mm -hmm. you will be investigated. So I guess what's really encouraging is how boldly Jacob Rees-Mogg says these things on television. Yeah, live. I mean, just there. It's almost like a rallying cry yeah. for other conservatives to back him. These are principles, these are ideals, and you have to admire, setting aside whatever the principles or ideals are, there's a level of virtue in saying, these are my principles and I'm not going to sacrifice them. And this is something that the liberals don't seem to understand. Um, when they, they want to destroy anyone who holds principles outside of their own, and they can't possibly think of admiring someone who would uphold principles because they are opposite to them. They lose their mind. Um, and you should see all the nasty, ugly comments. And it's a disgusting world out there when, when people um, behave like, they really behave like children when they come up against um, opposing views. All to say that you guys out there, if you admire Jacob Rees-Mogg, we do too, and we're with you, and you're with us. <laughs> and if you don't, okay, fine, fair enough. Don't launch personal attacks or character assassination. Um, try to use your reason and, and rationality to argue for or against those principles. You know, there's no point in, in tearing someone down. Uh, it, it, just, it just reveals that you irrationally hold to your principles and you can't defend them properly. But it does seem like 99.9% .9 of the UK is going crazy against Jacob Rees-Mogg. But I have a feeling that that's just a perception and that there's a large silent, there's a silent ma majority of people who are sitting back fearful for their lives of expressing agreement with him, but that actually agree with him. Yeah, and I think that's where we've we've gotten. Uh, you look at the Trump outcome, you look at the Brexit outcome, you've got, I think, a silent majority who are looking for someone to give them a voice. Because the way that the liberal media has gone, if you say anything against their agenda, they you get attacked. You get attacked personally, you get attacked violently, physically, emotionally, verbally. And so people these days would rather just not say anything, yeah. but they still hold their views. Yeah. And, that's and they what... take their views into the voting booth. And that's where mm. I feel like the liberal left need to learn from their mistakes and stop trying to categorize everyone who disagrees with them as racist, racist bigots, sexist. Yeah, homophobes, all of that. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching our video about Mog, and we hope you guys subscribe if you like what you heard, and leave us a comment. What do you guys think about him? Mogmentum, baby. <laughs> yeah! Bye! Bye.